So I'm working here with my friend and uh, client Gino. We're working on some pressing exercises like the bench press, which can be useful for his sport of jiu-jitsu of pressing people off of you. Um, worked on some of the technique and kind of what sets and wet rep ranges and weight to work with to get the most out of his gym time for his actual sport. Uh, after Gino got some of his uh, sets and reps in, uh, I took the time to video some kind of bench tip videos. So for the first one you see here, we're talking about where to line up with the bar. We don't want our eyes in front of the bar. We don't want our eyes or head behind the bar. We want our eyes in line with the bar, thumbs width off the knurling, and making sure we're focusing on using our back. If you can touch your elbows together, your shoulder blades aren't engaged enough. We want to not be able to touch our elbows together, so we're pulling the bar down and pulling the bar apart, right? As far as bar path, if it's up over our collarbone, we wanna make sure we're torquing the bar in half by kind of meeting somewhere between our rib and nipple line. That way we're engaging more of the lat and pectoral muscles and less of the front delt. When we go up and wait here, the other thing that we want to focus on is uh, maintaining that tension with the previous tips and using the opposite motion or pulling, right? People think of bench press as a pressing movement, but if you do it right, you should get a pretty good amount of tension in your back from lowering the weight properly. And if you're doing enough of the right pulling uh, exercises, you should get a lot of power out of the bottom part of the position if your back is strong enough. If we're too floppy, you won't be able to express that power without some kind of shoulder injury at some point or just overdevelopment of the anterior or front muscular complexes like the pec and delt muscles. And the other thing is if you're training specifically for sport or to use weightlifting as a carryover and not your sport itself, um, like especially bodybuilding, we want to make sure that if our heart rate's up, we're focusing on recovering, using good breathing mechanics, and making sure that our heart rate is recovered so that way we can focus on maximum quality reps and maximum force production on the actual exercise itself right we want to be able to load the bar down slow and draw it like a bow and then shoot it up like an arrow getting released from that bow if we're just trying to bang out a bunch of reps it, it pretty much turns into conditioning or just time under tension which is more of what people who are training for aesthetic purposes do less carryover if you're in a fighting sport or even a field sport uh, and then as far as like the body weights when, uh, to weight ratio is if you're uh, like me, for example, 200 pounds, uh, your goal is trying to get a better strength to weight ratio. You don't necessarily have to be a power lifter to do that, right? Here I'm working somewhere in between one and a quarter and one and a half body weight. And it's the form doesn't change from whether I had half of my body weight on the bar or body weight and a quarter, body weight and a half. Right? And this is one of the things that's going to allow me to express the most strength for things I like to do, like Muay Thai or just field sports in general, and stay balanced and not overdevelop in one aspect. You're trying to be like violent and snappy, like those quick twitch fibers. You're better off doing, say, uh, six to eight sets of two plus two. So instead of doing four sets of eight, like traditionally, you need to do that at first so you can learn how to do the movement and you can build some base conditioning. But once you're conditioned, that will quickly diminish in how effective it is. And if you flip it, so that way you're doing... Uh, again, more sets, but heavier weight for those clusters of like, it's just like when you have those guys do power on the bag, like you're, yeah. a couple power reps, recover, a couple power reps, recover, versus just making yourself tired with like quick movement. So hopefully that makes sense. No, that makes sense. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Thank you, sir. Yeah.